I'm Lee with number five, and you're watching Steel Dogs TV. Saturday, December 12th, and the Bradfield Brewery Sheffield Steel Dogs are on the road in D side to take on the Manchester Phoenix in the first leg of the War of the Roses. The Steel Dogs lineup was missing a number of regular starters, including Tom Squires, Ludmir Corhorn, Dalibor Sedlar, Lee Haywood, and Ashley Calvert. This gave opportunities to Brandon Stones and Joe Colton and increased ice time to the likes of Charlie Thompson, Tom Barry and Cole Shudra. Despite that inexperienced lineup, the Steel Dogs managed to win by five goals to four, with Cole Shudra winning man of the match with a goal and an assist. Our roving reporter spoke to head coach Greg Wood and Andy Hurst to get their thoughts on the game. So, uh, Greg, we've had uh, a War of the Roses game tonight, a 5-4 win. How did you see that from the bench tonight? Obviously, I'm really pleased with the result. Um, we went with a younger team. We gave everyone a chance to play. Um, I think everyone applied to something really well. And, you know, I, I'm over the with result. 5-4 win at Manchester. It's never an easy place to go. Um, in the manner we did it, it was really nice. We were 4-1 down at the end of the second period. What did you say in the changing room that made the players come out in a very different way in the third? Not an awful lot, really. Um, I just said, you know, as long as we keep the game close, we've got these guys have got to come back to us on 28th, and it's in our hands to do it, and that's simple as that. And you had the chance to play quite a few of the uh, younger pups tonight. Um, what do you make of their performances? Absolutely fantastic. I mean, you only have to look at Man at Match. Um, Cole Shudra, fantastic goal again, and then he sets up the next goal for Boss. Um, he's been playing fantastic all year, and then you throw in Joe Collin in his first game for us. Played brilliantly, good energy, good skater. Um, Brandon Stones in net were fantastic, and also Charlie Thompson stepping up as well. So we had four guys who were, you know, relatively new to us. And also um, Andrew Hurst extended his scoring record, which is really good for the team. And of course, we've got the uh, second leg to come. How are we going to sell that to the crowd of Sheffield? What, what, what can we do to get some more people through the gates? It's a trophy at the end of the day. It's as simple as that. You know, um, we broke us back working to, to win that for the last three years. Um, and, you know, I think there's been six in total now. It'd be nice to get one up on them and go 4-3 four, four, up, I think. I think it would be. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's something to play for, for sure. And thank you very much. We'll see you for the uh, second leg. OK, so we're uh, here with Andrew Hurst. He's been on a, another goal-scoring expedition tonight. How was that game for you this evening? Personally, I enjoyed scoring again. Um, I've got my confidence back and I feel like I can score every game. Uh, to, to beat Manchester has always feels good, even if it is not a league game or whatever. So we're halfway there and we want to beat them in the other half of the leg as well. When I spoke to you last week, uh, asking about you know which teams that you really got hyped up for, you did say Manchester. Yeah. How how was that going out tonight? What what did you do to get you know in into that frame of mind of you were definitely going to beat them? We we've been on a bit of a roll really, and um, even with it being the the Bradfield Brewery Cup or the York Red uh, Red Rose White Rose, it's it were it was just a case of keeping the point streak going uh, as a team. We've picked up five wins from the last five and. Even though it doesn't go two points to the league table, to, to add that win and that confidence, we're hoping that takes into next week when we play Basingstoke and Guildford. And you know, tonight we've played you know, with a very short bench, yeah. but we've had some of the younger pups stepping up and they've really filled into the lines really well. What, what's your view of you know, players like Cole, Tom, uh, Cole Shooter and Charlie Thompson today? I've, uh, I've, I responded to a tweet earlier, and I believe we've got the best academy in the league. If you look around, if you look around the players we produce as a club, it's something to be proud of, and it, 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 it's, it's a brilliant feeling to see these young guys come in, do a great job, and you think we're doing well, and we, we nurture them as well. Um, it weren't me so long ago. I'm still young, but these guys are younger and make me feel a bit older now, and uh, just to see other people doing what people have done and that convey about a good players coming through, it, it makes it proud, it makes you proud. And especially when they're from Sheffield as well, it's just a bit of an extra feeling. But they did very well tonight. Um, thanks, lads. Uh, it, it's more timing and positioning, but it was Charlie's first game and I think he got a point as well, so he's uh, 
was very happy with that. And I think Cole's been brilliant re recently. And I think just a final word, we were without Pato tonight, but yep. Tom Barry seems to be stepping up into the uh, Pato shoes. He's got his little boxing gloves out. Uh, what do you think to uh, Tom Barry, enforcer? If he wants to do that, then, uh, then he can do I think he's been been on edge for a while. I didn't see it, actually. I were up the other end of the ice. I turned around and they were, they were banging each other on glass and that, but it's, it's one of them things you just happen sometimes, yeah. doesn't it? So that's... Uh, don't really know what happened. Right, Shard thank you very much, Shard, uh, Andrew Hurst. Shard, Cole Shudra, the brownest player on our team, after Ben Morgan.